Yeah, I mean, he's contributed a lot for us to get to where we are to, um, to the final, but it's very upsetting. We want him to come, but it is what it is. We're going to fight and hopefully win the trophy, not just for us, but for him. Um, he spoke to us today and said, well, obviously, he's taken a decision that he can't go. It was very upsetting to hear at the start of the training session, but we have to not let it distract us and focus on the final. Talking about the final, obviously, Chelsea in great form, especially in this competition. Just what kind of challenge are they going to pose? Um, yeah, the, we know the threats they have. We're going to analyse them and take our... Our best, our best chances to beat them, but it's not going to be easy. A final is a final, and we, we want to both win. And even though they've secured the spot in the Champions League, I'm still, I'm sure they want to win the game as well. So it's not going to be an easy game for us, but we'll go in hopefully getting the result that we want. What's driving you more, the, the chance of winning a trophy, or is it the Champions League football for next season? Both. Um, we've been talking about it. It's the only way we can get to the Champions League right now. So it's also a way to win, a, win something and win a, a trophy. So well, we are very excited for the opportunity and hopefully we go and grab it. Obviously your manager, he knows, he knows what he's doing in this competition. What's he been saying to you this week? How's he going to provide the edge for your side? Um, he's been just been telling us to not focus yet, as of yet, but I'm sure in due time we'll slowly prepare ourselves for the match. Um, not yet, but we will do very, very soon. We will analyse their game and the possible what, what formation or how they're going to play against us. But we haven't done it as of yet. Um, there's pros, there's cons, but. It's hard to say. I mean, we'll just obviously we'll look at the last games they played in the Europa League final as well as they played in the Premier League and see how they were set up. I mean, they've had a few injuries as well, so we don't know what team they're gonna they put out against us. But we'll prepare and hopefully we put the right team and get the result. Alex, it's a final, but will it feel like a final with such few allocated returns? Um, yeah, this is not in England, so it doesn't feel like a Premier League game exactly. It's still away and. Uh, the, the scenery is going to be different. It is going to feel like a final. I mean, we've worked so hard to get to where we are and there's a lot of things we've been through. So, yeah, even though we played in Baku already, we still want to get another result against a different team there. Can I ask you quickly before um, the FPL competition uh, this summer? So three African players shared the Premier League. What does that say? How significant is that? Yeah, it's good. It shows that Africa still got a lot of talent and even though I may say I wanted Oba to win, I'm still happy that all three were able to grab the golden boot. Just on the manager, his first season of the club, taking you to rugby, what does that say about his qualities? Um, yeah, it shows that he's, whatever he's doing is working and we're buying into his ideas and you can see everyone in the team's fighting, not just for us, but for him. And he has a good chemistry with the players and you can see we're enjoying his time here. So it's even to get to a final, He's got. He had the right tactics and the right players at the right time. So we'll we'll do our best to win the final for him as well. Obviously, this club's got such a rich, rich history. Won so much, but never this competition. So you you have got the chance to make history. Does that? Did the squad realise that? Um, I don't think we realise it like that. I mean, we we know it's another way, it's another chance to win something. I mean, every trophy to us is special. We always want to do our best and win as many as we can. So. Yeah, the Europa League final is another one we can win. Obviously, Arsenal was here for a long, long time. New managers come in. The fact that the players are in the final shows that they have adapted to the United Methods. How has that been for you, playing under Arsenal? Yeah, I can't lie, it was a bit weird because I grew into the system playing under Arsenal Wenger, and that's all I've known. So I didn't know what it was going to be like when he came, but when he did come, I just I came late in pre-season because I was at the World Cup and he spoke to me and said how he, what, what ideas he has for me and I've bought into them. I've played in a lot of matches to be fair and he's had a, he's shown a lot of faith in me and I uh, thank him for that. And to be in a, involved, especially at a young age, to be involved as many games as I've been in, is, I'm proud of the achievement. But I still I still got a long way to go and I'm sure he has a lot more years in, at the club as well. So he'll be doing his best for the club and hopefully so will I. Um, well, for to start with, Peter, he's been 
a legend not just for us but also for Chelsea so I'm sure he's going to have a lot of feelings going into the game There's, and there will be no better way for, for him to sign off than to win the Europa League final against Chelsea as well it would be great as for Wilbs I mean it will be a great feeling for him to even play especially being he's always had unfortunate injuries and this will be the first game back so hopefully if the manager decides to let him play it will be a special one and a special send off for him as well Alex you grew up around um, we haven't bantered about that yet. I mean, the only thing we've bantered about is just the passion that he shows. I mean, he, he lets his emotions out and maybe I'm not as emotional as him, but we both, we've, from young, when we were playing in, in our Sunday league teams, we've grown up together and he, we've both gone our separate ways obviously in different parts but he's doing well in, in his team he was able to win and be undefeated I believe so yeah it's great it's great for him and it's great to see that we're still obviously we're still friends we're still chat so I'm sure towards the time you'll send me a message I'll, I'll probably even chat to him as well Have you thought beyond the final potentially playing in the Champions League against Chuba's team? Um, we haven't talked about that no I was before the list got sent out to African Cup of Nations, I was hoping that he would get selected, hopefully, but unfortunately he wasn't able to, but that's the only thing we've been speaking about. So when it comes to Chelsea Arsenal, is it London Derby, does it feel like that, or is it just, we need to win this game, the bigger things to be about? No matter what team we're playing, it was, we know it's going to be a war, a final, everyone wants to win, we're going to compete, everyone's going to fight, so even if it was a London Derby or if we're playing in Frankfurt, we knew it was going to be a difficult game, but we'll go there with the mindset of wanting to win. Do you have a message to the fans that aren't able to get there with being over 5,000 miles away? Uh, as long as they show their support, which they've been showing all season, whether they're there with it physically or there in spirit, we're always going to do our best and to hopefully do them proud. And again, one last question. You know, the few London grown-up players here, how does it feel to be representing Arsenal? Can you work really fun? How excited are you? Um, I've had many dreams of winning things for Arsenal at a young age. Never thought I'd make it this far, but to be here and having the opportunity to play in such a big final was great for me, not just for me, but also for to show that youth in the Arsenal Academy have a chance to play at this level. So there's even AZ, there's Eddie and Kids, or Eddie was at Chelsea, but Joe Willock. But yeah, but there's a lot of opportunities for players, and if you keep on believing, you can make it even better than me. <laughs> Alex, is there any added pressure with being in the European final on Saturday? You guys need to win. Um, we're not trying to focus on Tottenham to be fair I actually hope they lose but yeah um, no we're not we're not trying to look at them that's they've done well to be fair I have to give it to them but we want to focus on ourselves and bring back the trophy for us Alex can I just ask you about the front two Andre and Andre um, there's been a lot of criticism over the lines of Chelsea these two at Arsenal really seem to blend and work well together is that going to be an advantage for you guys? Um, I would like to say yes, but Chelsea still have a lot of quality players and they're able to get goals from not just the strikers but from the midfield as well. But yeah, when you have Oba and Laka, we know what we're not just going to get goals, we're going to have a lot of opportunities to get goals and their movement, their chemistry together is very good. Whether they start together, we don't know yet, we don't know the team exactly, but I'm sure they'll be able to create chances is whether we take them. Um, in terms of the partnership, they're the best I've seen. I mean, normally there's a lot of individual talents that are obviously is crazy to see, but I'd say as a partnership, they're the best I've ever seen. Not just in matches, but in training as well. Okay, thank you.